She has to get her nose matching my her clothes. Today was all about seven-year-old Alana Beard. I wonder if I cracked a lot. I just get my nails and toes painted and a lot of more stuff. My nails are already dry. No, they're not. Being pampered for the very first time. La, 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 la. She and her younger sister Skylar got the royal treatment at Sunday Spa in Milford with a little help from Cinderella herself. She's my favorite princess because she wasn't born a princess and in life you can become something special. As Alana received the final touches inside, a big surprise waited outside for this little princess. Alana's sister joined her and Cinderella in the pumpkin-shaped horse-drawn carriage, all of it thanks to Make-A-Wish. It's really difficult watching someone that you love suffer from this disease. It's living every day in uncertainty. Alana has sarcoidosis. You have extra cells that create nodules and different organs. With sarcoidosis, the prognosis is really unknown. But Alana's mom knows her little girl is strong. Very strong. She's wise beyond her years. <laughs> and knows that today was a dream day for her little princess. One by one. Uh, these are perfect fills right here. Cans came off the line today at Half Full Brewery. So we're canning the Bright Ale, which is our flagship beer. Marking the start of a new era for this local brewery that's not even two years old. It's very surreal. When the first cans were coming off and we were filming on our phones, like I got like some chills. Because I'm like, this is like legit. Like now people can get us in a much more broader sense. You can take us home. Up until now, half full beers were only available on tap in their tasting room and at local restaurants. It's exciting. It's just really exciting. We're very excited. If you don't get that, we're very excited, happy people. Happy people who say half full is more than just a beer. We're kind of about more of a concept. The thing that we try and do here is to say, hey, we're, we're not just a beer company. We're kind of this like beer company that has a cheer company built in. They hope these cans will help spread their message and keep your glass half full this summer. This is really only the beginning. It's really exciting. Piece by piece, volunteers demolished every inch of the more than 30-year-old kitchen at the Open Door Shelter. It was old. It was very old kitchen that serves nearly 400 hot meals a day. Out of a very tiny, tiny space. But a full makeover wasn't the initial idea. We just asked for help moving the doors so we could put in the warming table. Said, any architects out there that would help us do it right? And they walked in and said, oh, no, 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 you need a kitchen. I looked at the kitchen that they had, and I just couldn't understand how they could possibly do that. International kitchen designer Christopher Peacock of Wilton. We've managed to get a lot of this stuff up and out. So is the driving force behind the project. I decided to take, take it on and to um, raise money, raise help, raise friends. When it's done, shelter officials say this renovation will do much more than just increase their efficiency. It's going to allow us to serve more people faster. So it allows us to really meet the community needs. This is the area that's got to be torn out. And All thanks to people who stepped up in a time of need. It's just the best thing ever. To give back is tremendous.